All right. Good morning, brothers and sisters. This morning, we're going to talk about the same thing I talked about yesterday. That, that talk is cheap. Talk is cheap. And I'm going, to, I'm going to go through several different Bible verses to give you several witnesses to this proof that talk is cheap. I'm going to go, I'm going to start here in James chapter two, verse 14. It says, what doth it profit my brethren, though a man say, remember, talk, though he say he hath faith and have not works. Can faith save him? If a brother or sister be naked and destitute of daily food and, and one of you say unto them, depart in peace and be warmed and filled. Notwithstanding, you give them not those things which are needful of the body, what doth it profit? If your brother comes up to you and says, I'm cold, and I'm hungry, and I'm thirsty, and you don't give him a jacket, and you don't give him food, and you don't give him water, but you say, depart in peace and be warmed and filled, then have your words not just become super cheap when you could have supplied the need? Even so, faith, if it hath not works, is dead being alone. You can say you have faith, but if it's not working in you to do the Lord's will, to work his authority, to work his onoma, then it's dead and it's cheap. It's in poverty. Yea, a man say may say thou hast faith and I have works. Show me thy faith without thy works. Show me that you have faith all you can do to show me you have faith is speak to me, but without doing any works. And I will show you thee my faith by my works. Thou believest that there is one God, thou doest well. The devils also believe and tremble. You notice they don't do any work, they just believe. Now all they have is that uh, head knowledge. But wilt thou know, O vain man, that faith without works is dead? Talk is cheap. Was not Abraham our father justified by works when he had offered Isaac his son upon the altar? Seest thou how faith wrought with his works, and by works was faith made perfect? And the scripture was fulfilled, which saith, Abraham believed God, and it was imputed unto him for righteousness, and he was called the friend of God. Ye see then how that by works a man is justified, and not by faith only. Likewise, also, was not Rahab the harlot justified by works when she had received the messengers and had sent them out another way? For as the body without the spirit is dead, so faith without works is dead. All right, we're going to go to another spot here. I just th keep thinking about this, though. If, if Noah, when warned of God to prepare the ark, had have wandered around for 120 years saying, God's going to destroy this place and never had have built the ark. Where would we be now? You see, Noah's faith was proved by his works in preparing the ark. All right, let's go to Titus chapter one. <laughs> Talk is cheap. Remember that. For there are many unruly and vain talkers, we're in verse 10, and deceivers, especially they of the circumcision, whose mouths must be stopped, who subvert whole houses, teaching things which they ought not for filthy lucre's sake. One of them, a prophet of their own, said, the Cretans are always liars, evil beasts, slow bellies. This witness is true. Wherefore, rebuke them sharply, that they may be sound in the faith not giving heed to Jewish fables and commandments of men that turn from the truth. You see, if you're doing the commandments of men and you're not doing the works of the Lord, then your talk is still cheap. You say, I have faith in the Lord, but I'm doing commandments of the men. Of men, Your talk is still cheap. Unto the pure, all things are pure, but unto them that are defiled and unbelieving is nothing pure, but even their mind and conscience is defiled. They profess that they know God, but in works, they deny him. You see that? Talk is cheap. 
being abominable and disobedient unto every good work, reprobate. Profess is the same is the word homologeo. Homologeo to speak to the same, to agree. Properly to voice the same conclusion, to I to agree, to profess. This says because in full agreement, to align with and to endorse. But if you're going to be in full agreement and align with someone and fully endorse them, you're going to work for them. You're not just going to speak and then do no works. Talk is cheap. It says they profess that they know God, but in works they deny him, being abominable and disobedient unto every good work reprobate. And Jesus said in Matthew chapter 15, verse 8, says, This people draw nigh unto me with their mouth. They speak well of me. They honor me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. But in vain they do worship me, teaching for doctrines the commandments of men. You can honor God with your mouth and then teach the commandments of men, and still that talk is cheap. Let's go to 2 Timothy chapter 3. And we're just going to read right here. It says, you go ahead and just read the first few verses. It says, I know that, no, this know also that in the last days, we're in the last days ever since Acts chapter 2, for sure. That in the last days, perilous times shall come, for men shall be lovers of their own selves. We know that's true. Covetous. Boasters, proud, boasters and boasters speak with their lips, don't they? Proud, blasphemers, blasphemers speak with their lips as well. Disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, truce breakers, false accusers, incontinent, fierce, despisers of those that are good, traitors. What is a traitor? Ones that turn from the truth, right? Mm, traitors. It means that they are within our ranks, but they're turning away. Traitors, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasures more than lovers of God. And here we go in verse 5. Having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof, from such turn away. You see, they deny the power. They have a form of godliness in their lips and in their words, but there's no power. It doesn't. They, there's no dunamis power. Dunamis, power, might, strength. Deeds showing physical power and marvelous works. They have no dunamis. Mm. Having a form of godliness, speaking the words, but denying the power of, having no power, doing no works for the Lord. From such turn away. We're going to go to my last verse here that we're going to check in on. I believe this. Ah, yes, we're going to go to Revelation chapter 3. And we're going to read the message to the church in Philadelphia. It says, And to the angel of the church in Philadelphia, write these things, saith he that is holy and he that is true and he that hath the key of David, he that openeth and no man shutteth and shutteth and no man openeth. What does it say right there in verse eight? It says, I know thy works. <sighs> Behold, I have set before thee an open door. I know thy works. They weren't just speaking at the church in Philadelphia. They have works. Their faith wasn't dead. Behold, I have set before thee an open door, and no man can shut it, for thou hast a little strength, and hast kept my word, and hast not denied my name. I know thy works. You know, you can, you can profess and you can claim Christ throughout your whole entire life, and, and him never come into you and do any mighty works, and in the end say to you, Depart from me, ye who work iniquity, I never knew you. You know that's possible, right? 
As a matter of fact, most people who claim to be in the Christian faith and believe in Christ have no proof that they have belief. They say they, they say they believe, but there is no evidence. Where are the works that comes with faith? Faith comes with works. They're not your works. They're the works God has given for you to walk in, the good works for you to walk in. And God says, I know thy works. Behold, I have set before thee an open door and no man can shut it. For thou hast a little strength and hast kept my word, hast kept my speech and done my works and hast not denied my name and hast not denied my name. What does that mean when it says like has not denied my name? The word name is the word onoma. It, it means authority. If you haven't denied his names, then that means you his name, his character, his fame, his reputation, his authority. That means you've been doing the good works he has set aside for you to walk in. Love you all, brothers and sisters. You have a blessed, wonderful day. Stay strong in the Lord. Jesus loves you.